soon the whole country will hear the sound that's delighted Los Angeles for a couple of years now. The Road to Root, a good time Christmas band. That is their first single and will be included on their album to be released uh, just a little later on this late summer. Uh, the Martian March, of course, the name of that one, as written by B-flat Baxter, Buffalo Steve, and Off the Wally. Flipside, Swamp Lake, as arranged by Sergeant Charts. The Road to Root, a good time Christmas band. That record now on sale only at Expo 74 up in Spokane. The uh, special delivery to copy to me so I could play it for you. It should be on sale here soon, either in single or in album form, perhaps both. And in between the two sides of the Rotor Rooter Band single, we heard the Dinks with an oldie but a goodie, Nina Kakanina, all on the Dr. Demento show where it's just about that time. Time once again on the Dr. Demento show. It's top ten time. Number 10, number 10, number 10, Cab Calloway. <laughs> Now here's a story about Minnie the Moocher She was a red hot hoochie coocher She was the roughest, toughest rail But Minnie had a heart as big as a hay whale Howdy, howdy, ho Howdy, howdy, ho Howdy, howdy, ho Howdy, howdy, ho Loved him though he was coking. He took her down to Chinatown. He showed her how to kick the gong around. Showed her how to kick the gong around. Howdy ho, 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 Sweet. He gave her things that she was needing. He gave her a long bill of gold and steel, some diamond car with the platinum wheel. Waddy Woody Way, Waddy Woody Way. Some people who really have a lot of class voted for that one, and that is the 10th most requested demented song all over the land of dementia tonight, August 18th, 1974, Cab Calloway and Minnie the Moocher. Number nine, former number one song. In fact, it was number one quite recently, but cockroaches do get stomped on, and this one got stomped all the way down to number nine, but it's still proud. After all, it did eat Cincinnati. Wish the Dodgers could be as lucky. I was offered to you 
short confession. I like movies that give me a fright. If the subject is horror, I've got to see more. I won't be contented all night. You may call it my ghoulish obsession. It's a subject on which I get chatty. But the worst one it seems haunting all of my dreams was the cockroach that ate Cincinnati. Some moth-eaten werewolves with fangs. There were creatures that chattered and others that flattered and Japanese monsters with fangs. Frankenstein gives me the shakes. A Dracula driving me batty. But they're not on a par with the worst one by far. The cockroach eggs and sunny. have needed a seltzer. It's amazing how much he got down. Or lunch, he just chew up a suburb or two. And for dinner, he ate the whole town. Willard just sent me out laughing. I thought Ben looked a little bit ratty. Watch, watch, sorry about that. But they're not half as bad as the worst scare I've had. The cockroach say Cincinnati. That's dumb. What do you mean, that's dumb? I think it's smart. I think it's intelligent. I think that is the... Uh, I think that is one of the... Uh, one of the most arcane things that's been said all this year. Ole, ole. What do you say? Do you say ole? Why <laughs> they? Very well put, Jungle Judy. The cockroach that ate Cincinnati with possum. Number nine this week on the Dr. Demento Show. Well, uh... Alan Sherman's song about Camp Granada has been pretty big on the top ten lately, and so I think uh, that having run its course, it's only natural that uh, the sequel, the follow-up to his original Camp Granada song, should get in its innings on the top ten, and indeed it has. Number eight this week, the 1964 version, Hello, Mata, Hello, Fada, Part Two. G-R-A-N-A-D-A, Camp Granada. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Fada. I am back at Camp Granada, and I'm writing you this letter just to say my compound fracture's getting better. No one here knows where my trunk is, and my bunk is where the skunk is. Food's improving Cause the little black things in it Are not moving I can't nurse is Quite a swimmer She says swimming Makes you slimmer Her name's Mrs. Pellegrini Have you ever seen a whale in a bikini? All our bathrooms have such thin doors. Gee, I wish they'd move them indoors. We're all tired of Mother Goose here. So next Friday night they're having Lenny Bruce here. Tiptoe through the 